new evidence of the age of the Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert, North Africa, vast, generally dusty, surprisingly shy about its age, new research looking into what appears to be the dust that the Sahara blew over to the Canary Islands, providing the first direct evidence from dry land that the age of the Sahara matches that found in deep sea sediments at least 4.6 million years old. This is according to Geology Inn. People have been trying to figure it out for several decades, said Daniel Moose, geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, Denver, Colorado. He said more recent studies said it was the beginning of the Pleistocene about 2.6 million years ago. Then others say a few thousand years ago. Added to this is a model suggesting the Sahara Desert first appeared as far back as 7 million years ago. There is also another evidence that the desert has taken breaks and had wetter, greener periods interspersed with arid times. It's this sensitivity to climate and the Sahara's role in global climate that makes the region so interesting to researchers. The new work by Moose and his colleagues on the Canary Islands focused on thick layers of fine reddish-brown soil found among layers of volcanic rocks and dune sands on Fuerteventura and Gran Canaria Islands. The islands are off the west coast of North Africa, at the mouth of the spigot that seasonally pours wind-blown dust off the Sahara and across the Atlantic Ocean. Moose is presenting the results at the annual meeting of the Geological Society of America, Phoenix, Arizona. Moose and his colleagues' mission was to find and identify and date any layers of ancient African dust in what are called paleosols, or buried ancient soils. In one coastal location study, they found layers of dunes made from local shells of sea animals. In another, there were layers of lava from the volcanoes that built the islands up. Both of these geological archives contain paleosols made of very fine-grained minerals, rich in quartz and mica, minerals that do not reflect the, ge the local geology of the islands. They do, though, reflect the minerals found on the nearby African mainland. So luckily for the geologists, the lava flows that sandwich the wind-blown fine-grained quartz and mica layers made it possible to nail down approximate ages of the Sahara Desert. That's because volcanic rocks contain minerals with what are essentially isotopic clocks that start ticking when the minerals in the lava cool and solidify. The, and since the layers of lava, paleosols, and other local soils are stacked chronologically with the youngest on top, the lava flows provide some boundaries of when the Sahara was dry enough to launch massive dusty storms out over the Atlantic. And in all, the researchers reported eight paleosols that record African dust piling up in the Canaries between 4.8 and 2.8 million years ago, 3.0 to 2.9 million years ago, and about 400,000 years ago. The oldest paleosols agree with the deep sea cores, which put the earliest Sahara dust to the Atlantic at about 4.6 million years ago. That's not to say the Sahara is 4.6 million years ago, years old. That's only as old as Moose and his colleagues could determine based on the paleosols and lavas they found. Moose says we could take it further back in time if we can find the paleosols. This story was based on material provided by Geological Society of America and it's on Geology Inn. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.